welcome back to the Blind Symmetry Lore Painting Channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about airbrush cleaner. Uh, this video is more targeted to the beginner lore painter or the person thinking about getting into lore painting or airbrushing in general. Okay, store-bought airbrush cleaner is very expensive. And if I had to buy store-bought airbrush cleaner, I wouldn't be painting lures because I couldn't afford it. Uh, what I'll show you to do, what I'll show you how to do today is to mix up a whole gallon of airbrush cleaner that should last you quite a while. And uh, for an initial investment of $10, you'll come out with a, a $10 bottle of uh, lure cleaner compared to a $50 to $60 bottle well, a gallon. So we're talking about a gallon here. So fifty to sixty dollars for a gallon, compared to an initial investment of ten bucks. Each additional time you make this cleaner, it's only going to cost you six dollars because one of the ingredients will last you uh, a very long time. <clears throat> so first thing we want to do is get you a bottle that can hold at least thirty-two ounces. And the first thing we want to do is pop your funnel in there. <laughs> then you want to grab your 32 ounce bottle of isopropyl alcohol, 91%. And you will add 26 ounces to your bottle. Not even see where that's at. Way down there. Get in there. Okay, there's your 26 ounces of 91% alcohol. Now for a 32 ounce bottle of this, it's less than $3. Now we'll dump that into your empty gallon jug. Our next ingredient is ammonia-free glass cleaner. Make sure you get ammonia-free. Over time, ammonia-based cleaner will uh, destroy the chrome plating on your airbrush. <coughs> and so we'll mix that up 26 ounces. There's 26 ounces of that. Now, if you want, you can do the full money. You can go 32 ounces of alcohol, 32 ounces of window cleaner. But I find this works for me, and I'm good to go. So, And I, I clean my airbrushes to death. We'll go ahead and mix that in the gallon. Yeah, I, I, let's say a lot of people, they use a light color, right? Then... uh. They get done spraying that light color and their next color, let's say, is black. <coughs> They'll go ahead and 
run that black because it'll mix with the yellow and you won't even notice the yellow. I don't do that. I clean my airbrush spotless between each color. That's just me. You don't have to do that, but that's just me. <clears throat> okay. And our next ingredient is some glycerin. Uh, this is the product you only buy one time and it'll last you a long time. Uh, this bottle right here is six ounces and it's, excuse me, it's about four dollars. So 60 drops, six zero, 60 drops of this into that container. I'm not used to talking on camera, so I kind of hold my breath when I'm talking, and, and you know, I'm, I'm a rookie at this. So I went ahead and took a little medicine dropper and put 60 drops in there a few minutes ago. So we'll just dump that in there. And I'm going to let that sit for a minute to uh, fully drip out of this lid here or funnel. <clears throat> and the theory about the glycerin is that it'll leave a thin coat. It's not oil, but it it's it's sort of oily. It's not oil, it, it washes up pretty good. <clears throat> it'll leave a thin coat on your needle and your airbrush bowl. And it'll make cleanup, each cleanup a little more easier because the paint doesn't stick to the metal as well but you don't have to worry about it mixing in with your paint as you're spraying it out. I've had it, I've had no problems at all. Uh, and I've been using this method since day one. I've never bought airbrush cleaner because I can't afford it. Uh, but yeah, it'll leave a thin coat, sort of like lubricate your needle and your bowl, and it just makes cleanup a little more easier. Let's see how much of that's still in this. Let's break, spot this. It's gone. All right. Now your last ingredient. It's good old distilled water. And you just top it off. There you have it. Now you mix up a gallon of cleaner, like I said, for an initial investment of $10. Each additional gallon is only going to cost you six bucks. Look at me. Yeah, so if this video helps you save money, hit me with a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Yeah, you want to give it a good shake. Get that glycerin mixed all around. All right, and I'll tell you. You take you a, a good spray bottle. A spray bottle that has the jet, not the mist. You want to use the jet. So I usually rinse my airbrush out, rinse the paint out of the bowl with uh, distilled water. I rinse that out a couple times and then I'll run airbrush cleaner through it a couple times. I do it until I get it clean. All right, we'll do a recap on our ingredients. Glass cleaner, less than $2, but we'll say two bucks. 32 ounces of 91% alcohol, $3. 
glycerin, four dollars. Distilled water, one dollar. It's actually less than a dollar. Uh, there's another distilled water out there. It's in the baby section. That has added minerals. Stay away from that and use just regular old distilled water. I hope this helps. Thanks for checking out the channel.